Good morning, everybody. This is Mrs. Padgett. Happy Monday. Hope everybody's doing great. Today, we're going to make a rainbow activity, and I'm going to post a picture of the finished product. The picture uses Fruit Loops and cotton balls, but in my house, I don't have Fruit Loops or cotton balls. So for my project, I'm going to use Skittles and toilet paper, which I know is a big hot commodity right now, so you just have to use a little bit. I promise it's not too much. And if you want to substitute marshmallows or something else instead, awesome. Whatever you have around the house is what you can use for this activity. Okay, my videographer daughter Kiernan is helping me today. So I'm gonna kind of be telling her where she needs to point the camera. All right, this is how you're going to set up your page. So what I did is I glued one of each color on the paper and then I went ahead and I drew a corresponding line for each color. And so that way the kiddos know exactly where they need to be placing the items. So what you're gonna have your kiddos do is I also just want to notice that um, there's no blue because in the original pack of Skittles there's no blue, but if you have tropical, there is blue, but you don't have to have blue. Good tip, Kiernan. Um, so you're going to have your kiddos, first of all, I also poured all of my Skittles in a clear bowl. That way the kids have to use their visual skills and figure ground and figure out, okay, where is purple or where is orange? And then they have to target where their fingers need to go to pick up the color that they need. And that's a great skill also, okay? So, you're gonna have your kiddos take the glue bottle, and this is a great hand strengthening activity because they're gonna use two hands and they're going to squeeze the glue on the line, on the line, and then they get to pick out the correct color, and they have them use their pincher fingers, so try to see if they can tuck, remember, tuck, um, ring finger and pinky and they can even tuck their middle finger and just use thumb and pointer to pick up in place Okay, so this is great targeting This is great Grading of movement because they have to be careful about where exactly they place the colors It's also obviously working on development of a pincer grasp and so they're gonna do that all along for each color Okay, and you can help them, but if you draw the line for them, it's really going to help with um, guiding where they squeeze the glue. And then, I didn't have any cotton balls at my house, so I'm going to use toilet paper. Come on in, Kiernan, so that they can see what's going on here. So, I have a roll of toilet paper. I'm going to take a square, and I'm going to use both my hands, and I'm going to use my fingers and squeeze really, really hard to bunch it up nice and small. Okay? And maybe let's do a couple of those so you guys get the gist of what's going on. So you have to squeeze, have your say squeeze, 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 have them use their muscles and their fingers, okay? And then we're gonna put the clouds right here. Karen, can everybody see what's going on here? So you can have your kids squeeze a blob and put on a cloud. Squeeze a blob, put on a cloud, okay? And they can do that so that they fill up the whole corner of the page with their cloud. And then they'll have their rainbow of Fruit Loops or candies or pom-poms or whatever you guys have at your house. And I'll post a picture of a finished product with Fruit Loops since mine's not done yet. But this is a great way for you to work on some fine motor development for the week with a rainbow. I hope you guys are doing great. I miss you all and have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine.